I may have a problem here. Hi guys, I'm JK and this is JK's Hiking where I'm all about hiking, backpacking, and gear. And today I want to talk to you about the one piece of gear that I will never, ever go backpacking without. That is my pillow. As a matter of fact, I'm going to talk to you today about the four pillows that I own and which one is my go-to. That's right, people. I own four backpacking pillows. And they're not the only four I've ever owned. They're just the four that have lasted. And today we're going to go through and talk about every single one of them. Back in 2016, I got the opportunity to hike Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania, Africa. It's the tallest freestanding mountain in the world at over 19,000 feet. It was an awesome trip. And one of the things that I was told would be very important for me to bring on my trip was a backpacking pillow. So I went to my local outfitters and looked at what they had and decided upon this guy right here. This is the Thermarest compressible travel pillow. Now it's seen better days. I've now had it for over three years and uh, this pillow has been through it. But this has to be one of the most comfortable pillows that I've ever owned in my life. It compresses down to about the size that a, a sleeping pad would or, or a water bottle. The inside of it is basically a memory foam type of foam that's in different pieces that all expand to give you a really nice loft and it's a very comfortable pillow. As a matter of fact, it's probably the closest pillow to feeling like you would feel if you were sleeping in your bed at home. One of the downsides to this pillow is the cost. This pillow is about $27. That's for the, the medium size, which this one is. This is 18 inches by 14 inches. Um, it is very, very comfortable, um, but it weighs in at nine ounces. So at over a half a pound, you can have a really, really comfortable pillow, but it does come at a weight cost. I have gone backpacking with this pillow, but only in the summertime. Just a few weeks ago, I did a video on backpacking with a cot. When I backpack in the summer, I don't need base layers. I don't need a lot of the extra stuff that you need when you're backpacking in the spring, the fall, or in the winter. Here in Kentucky, it just gets really hot, so I don't have that need for those heavier items. So sometimes when I go backpacking in the summer, I'll add some more luxury type items that might be a touch heavier, but I can consider taking them because of the weight that's cut by the other things I'm not bringing with me. And this pillow has been one of those things. It's very comfortable, it's easy to sleep on, but one problem with it is as time wears on, these pieces of foam wear down. And if you can see this, my hands are now touching each other. This is what happens over time with this pillow. Those foam pieces start to break down. Uh, they don't fluff up as, as good as they did before. And you end up with a pillow that should be really comfortable, but your head sinks. And by the end of the night, you find yourself sleeping with a really comfortable pillow on either side of your head, but your head's touching your sleeping pad. As great as this pillow is, for me, this isn't a long-term pillow for me. This isn't something I'm gonna use for a very long time because it does compress down. Because it compresses down so easily, this thing can become very uncomfortable at night after it's been used several times. So for me, this had its purpose when I climbed Kilimanjaro, it was great, it was comfortable, but now, it's just not the right pillow for me. The next pillow on the list is the Trekology UL pillow. You see these things all the time on Amazon and a lot of backpackers really like these. They're inexpensive at just a shade over $15. They only weigh 2.8 ounces. The Thermarest weighed nine ounces. This thing is less than a third of the weight of that pillow. It drops down to just a minuscule size when you pack it down. One of my favorite things about this pillow is the valve on it. The valve is fantastic because I can open this thing up right now and squeeze and there's nothing coming out because there's a little push button in here that you push. As you're filling up this pillow, you can have that button depressed and as you're filling it up, no air escapes, but you can blow into it, which is great at the end of the day when you've just got done hiking long miles, you just blew up your sleeping pad and you don't really feel like spending a whole lot of time blowing up a pillow. That makes this so much easier. And then to just let the air out, all you have to do, push that button. And just like this, this pillow is down to nothing. It's an extremely comfortable pillow too. At 16 by 12 inches, this thing is plenty big enough to sleep on for the night. As far as comfort goes, 
this pillow is so much like the Sea to Summit pillows. Uh, it's a very smooth texture. It's very comfortable. One of the downfalls of this thing, though, is honestly, it, it's slick. And because it's slick, when I put it on my, my sleeping pad, I find that if I'm tossing and turning at night, this thing can slide right off my sleeping pad. And if it's pitch black out, um, I'm reaching around trying to find this pillow in the middle of the night. It's just, it's just a little irritating. But honestly, most of your inflatable pillows are like that. They're made with a nylon polyester blend that um, it, it's not really made to stick to anything. It's made to be comfortable. But unfortunately, sometimes I think it slide right off. For $15, you really can't beat the price versus the weight versus the comfort. It really is a great pillow. And you can see why so many ultralight backpackers are using this on the trail. The next pillow on the list is the Outdoor Vitals Ultralight Stretch Pillow. I got this for $10 from the Outdoor Vitals website. I saw an ad where they were selling these for the cost of shipping. And when you consider these things are $25 brand new, there's nothing wrong with going out and picking up one of these things so that you could have it for $10. This pillow is just a shade smaller than the Trekology pillow at 16 inches by 10 inches, but it's also 2.6 ounces. So you're shaving off two tenths of an ounce by getting this pillow. For me, this is the most uncomfortable uh, of the pillows I've talked about so far. This curve isn't as shallow as I would like. It's not natural to my neck, to the curvature of my shoulders and my neck. And so I have a really tough time finding myself getting comfortable on this one. Also, the way this indentation is inside the pillow, uh, for me, because it doesn't fit around the curvature of my shoulders, um, that's not comfortable either. One thing I do like about this pillow is, is the valve on it. it it's actually really nice. Um, the way it's set up is you simply blow into it. As you release, the uh, flap inside closes automatically, not allowing any air to get out. So as you are blowing this up, uh, it makes it very easy to blow up the pillow. It doesn't take much time. Like I said, if you've been out hiking all day, you really don't want to have to deal with blowing up a pillow for very long. Um, but one of the things I don't like about this pillow, that's unhooked, I'm squeezing, nothing's coming out. In order for me to deflate this pillow, I actually have to hold that in and deflate the pillow. I mean, it's not a big deal, but honestly, it just, it's just kind of annoying because then after you get done, you have to make sure that that valve gets back into place. And then at that point, you have to push it again because you haven't gotten all the air out. And it, I just find it to be kind of annoying more than anything else. Just like the Trekology pillow, it gets very, very small, uh, smaller than a soda can. And so that's really nice. Um, but for me, this is not a pillow that I find myself wanting to go buy another one. Maybe if they, they change the design a little bit, do something a little different with that valve. I mean, it's not, a, it's not a game changer for me, but it's just kind of irritating to have to do that to deflate the pillow. For the cost, it's not a bad pillow. But for me, I don't like the, the, the curvature around the neck. I'm not a fan of the, of the rib around the outside of the pillow. And the, uh, as I said, that valve, I'm just not crazy about it. The last pillow I'm going to talk about today is the Climate Pillow X. This has become my go-to pillow. I love this thing. I, I love the way it's designed. I really like just how comfortable it is. It's really different than any other pillow on the market today. When you blow this thing up, it's much different than the other ones. As you can see, it has four separate baffles. So as you're blowing up the pillow, you'll blow up the first baffle, then the next one will blow up, then the next one, then the next one. So the one downside to this pillow, and it's the only one, this is it, this is the only downside to this pillow at all, is that when you're blowing this thing up, it does take just a touch more work than any of the other pillows I've talked about. But you wanna talk about lightweight. This thing comes in at a whopping 1.95 ounces. It also packs down the smallest of any of the pillows I've showed so far. At the same time, it is a smaller pillow. It's 15 inches by 11 inches. So it's a full inch shorter on the width and about an inch shorter on the height than the Trekology pillow, but it is a little taller than the uh, Outdoor Vitals pillow. So I'm a huge fan of this thing. One of the things I love about this pillow is when you're trying to sleep at night, you will find at least one place on this pillow that's comfortable. It doesn't matter what you do. There's always some, some place that you find comfortable. It's also not as rigid as the other pillows. 
which I kind of like. I kind of like the idea that the pillow is a little bit more movable. That does make it a little easier when you're trying to find a good, comfortable place. The other thing I love about this pillow is the valve on this one. It's simply a little turn knob, which some people may not like them because of where they may place them, but this one's in the perfect spot. Uh, when you're sleeping, it's up behind your head. It's not gonna interfere with you in any way when you're sleeping. It is like the other ones. It is made of a nylon material that slides around on your sleeping pad. There's no way to get around that with these pillows, but the valve is fantastic. This thing is so easy to deflate because of the valve. You just simply turn out the valve like this and start squeezing. Now I will tell you, this thing doesn't deflate as quickly as the other pillows do, but it takes a lot less work to get the air out. And as a result, you get this really, really little pillow, um, which packs down to next to nothing. If you're somebody who uses a 30 liter backpack, you're trying to conserve space as much as you are weight. And this takes care of both of those things. It weighs less than two ounces. It gets down smaller than any of the other pillows that I've talked about. And for me, bang for the buck, this is the best pillow. It sells about $25. And again, I got this one for $10. I'm a big believer in buying these pillows anytime I see them go on sale. And just about every company at some point will do a promotion where they will sell their pillows simply for the cost of shipping. And that's what I did on this climate pillow. And I will tell you, this has become my go-to. I sleep with it every time I go into the back country and I have never had a bad night's sleep because of this pillow. It is extremely comfortable. It's extremely well designed. And I would say if you have the opportunity to get one of these, go out and get one. Of all of the pillows that I've used, this is the most comfortable. This one is the lightest weight. And it's about the same price as most any pillow you're going to get unless you decide to go with the Trekology. 25 bucks for a good night's sleep is well worth it. So what pillow do you use? What pillows have failed for you? Which ones are the greatest successes? Which one is your go-to so that every time you go backpacking, it's the pillow you use? Let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button on the video. Hit the subscribe button so that every time one of these videos comes out, you will get an email letting you know that it's here. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.